Welcome to the Barbudo Family Channel. Today, we are changing my bedroom into a six-year-old bedroom. Because right now, it all looks like a four-year-old bedroom. But now I'm six, so I'm gonna turn it into a big boy bedroom. Well, I only don't mean big boy, but I also mean six-year-old bedroom. So right now, we're starting to take everything out. We'll see you later. Okay guys, so now my mom's peeling off the clouds. We're gonna paint the whole room. And we're gonna do it like like triangles. We'll keep it how it is inside the closet, but these three walls, we're gonna change gray. And here, we're gonna do like triangles, but we're gonna leave my name. We have letters LEO here. Uh, I don't know who did, did that. Maybe we could put the letters L-E-O there. Or we're going to put it back where it was. Yeah, so we'll figure it out. As we go. Yeah, as we go. This was always my dream of doing. My dream came true. See you while we're painting my room. Preparing the walls to start painting. So I am putting the tape to protect the carpet. So for example, we have this and you're painting and you accidentally get it up rug. Yeah, but we're gonna, I'm not done yet. This will be a base for the laminated drop cloth to put and then take over. So the paint doesn't fall on the carpet. So now, second layer, we're starting with this accent wall. What is the accent wall? Accent wall it means that it's like the star show of the room. Because that is gonna have the design. Oh, and the, all the other walls have just one color what's on yes. the design? Yes. Woke up, she already started painting. Second coat, I just stepped on water because she spilled the water before. The second coat, it looks like she's almost done already. I need a paper towel. I don't need a paper towel. Here, Mama. Thank you. On the box where we have all the tools, I need one, another one of these. <laughs> You could put a new rubber thing on here. Here's a new rubber thing. This one is wet. Okay, so we got on the tape right here. But notice, when we take off the tape, that paint is still going to be on the tape. See, there's a line. So that's the end of the tape. It's going to be like a straight tape line. That's the cool part. So now I'm going to paint. She just like did all of that, like up there and like everywhere. And I was going to do all of that. But she did all of that. She's officially done with the second coat. Now we just need to wait until that box ah. dries and then we could go to the next box. It's gonna be taking a long time so we might finish this after the whole day. We are on into the next color and here we have Leo the painter. Good job, Leo. As always, Mama's, I think, done with this box now. It looks the like first I'm... Layer. The, oh, yeah, the first layer. Okay, Dada, I am going to peel off that part. Let's see if Dada did the straight stripe. Okay, ready? Go slow. You can go faster than that. <laughs> Okay, so we have all the boxes opened and we found 
the instructions. Of course we need instructions to bring it together. What is this language that you're talking? I've never heard of that before. I think that put it together with Is that called the, mou the mouse language? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Okay. Since we're all acting silly right now. I gotta get in gear. I gotta get mentally prepared. I have to get out of this jacket. I'm gonna go put on some comfortable clothes so we can start. I need you guys to find me help some pieces. Okay, what do you need help from me? I'm gonna show you. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, let's see how we did. All right, guys, so it's been two hours and the instructions are very difficult to read. For one thing, it refers to certain screws in the diagram by letters, but those letters don't always correspond with the actual instruction. So I have to use my imagination to figure out which screw goes in which hole. Wow. So that's been a challenge and delaying the whole process. But right now I'm almost finished with the top bunk. When I'm finished with the top bunk, so if anything, gonna have to help me pick Lift it up. It. And, 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 me. Work on the and me, and me, and me. And Leo's gonna help. You know, it's not easy, it's not easy, but so far so good, strong. Oh man. I have some nice Peroni Bira. Ew. So now I have to put these wooden planks on the top bunk here to support the mattress. And you have to fasten each plank one by one with screws. And I was using the old traditional screwdriver. But why use a screwdriver when you could use a screw gun? Ladies and gentlemen, this is only for professional carpenters, for professional bed makers. And uh, I'm using here a Porter cable, 20 volt lithium screw gun. Check this baby out. Let's go. It seems so bad. You want to try it? Yeah. Sophia, come and watch me. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to use a screw gun for my first time. Oh, what? It's in. Oh, fast? You don't even know you got it in. <laughs> Are you gonna try it now, Sophia? Uh. Well, Sophia did a great job. She was brave. She gave it her best shot. That's what's most important. She did need a little bit more strength. Leo did a fantastic job. He was successful in screwing the screws into the wood quickly. And now I'm gonna finish, but this is like really taking so fast. I'll be done in about 30 seconds. Done. Ooh. Okay guys, now working on the bottom bunk, putting the planks down, Leo's working on the Rubik's, Rubik's cube. cube. And guys look, I only need four more white. Wow. And then if I get four more white, all the rest of the sides are done. Wow. But I, I do not think I can do this. That's how Leo is helping you, Dada? Uh, yeah. Well, he's keeping me, you know, keeping me awake. We're having some good conversation, talking about philosophical things. All right, so I got home from work about 6.30. It is now 11.37 p.m. It's a Friday, so kids are staying up late tonight, no school tomorrow. Five hours working on this. Five hours working on the bed. And I probably have at least another hour and a half left. It would have been better to hire somebody to Yeah, do but you know what? It's good exercise. It's fun to do with the kids. The kids worked the screw gun for the first time today. The moment we've all been waiting for. stairs after we're done putting the stairs up i'm just gonna climb up the stairs and check what's up there <laughs> like about any spiders or bugs or cockroaches what? <laughs> all right guys so we just put together the stairs now we have to put these side panels on and i have to start screwing them in again unfortunately the battery died in our screw gun but an experienced carpenter like myself knows that you cannot operate a screw gun without a backup battery. So now we're gonna put on the backup battery. Let's look closely. Now we're ready. That's easy. All right guys, it's one o'clock in the morning. What time is it then? Tell everybody what time it is. 12.58. 12.58, okay. We're exhausted. Ravana and Sophia are sleeping. I'm starting to get a headache. Yeah. I refuse to go to sleep until 
I finished the staircase there. I still have to bolt the stairs to the to the bed. He I'll do that in the morning, to, but I need to go to sleep also. He also needs to put the screws. So we'll see you later tomorrow morning when we finish the job. No, later. <laughs> Say later because like not because later. Tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys, so Leo fell asleep in literally five minutes. I came back, I secured the stairs to the bed. It's on pretty good now. Tomorrow we'll get a single mattress. Everything looks good. The only thing that we have left now is drawers for underneath the bed. I think it looks fine without drawers, but it did come with drawers. So I was putting them together. I couldn't fit the base of the drawer in this little slider thing. So just something was off by like a half an inch. So I don't think it needs drawers. Ravana's not gonna be happy with this because she likes to store all kinds of blankets and stuff. But you know what? The kids play under the bed. It looks cleaner, I think without drawers. So I'm gonna clean up now. We're gonna forget about the drawers, clean up all the screws and everything. I think I think we have a bunk bed, guys. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go to sleep in a little while. It's about two o'clock in the morning. We'll see how excited uh, Leo is when he sees his bed tomorrow with the single mattress. See you then. Okay, guys, Leo's bedroom makeover is finally complete. Let's go check it out. Yeah. All right, we did it. First, we needed to paint and then we needed to set up the bunk bed. Yeah. A lot better than before because I and think you- And then after we- You outgrew it, Lyle. The other one, you outgrew. Please. That was for babies. You're not a baby anymore. After we were done um, putting together this bunk bed, we needed to put these new up. Play to. But we need to turn this yeah, into this. Yeah, we're still into it, yeah. Because this, it was for my fan. Oh, we my took room. the fan out, so we need to get a new plate. Yeah, after we were done with the bed, we did that. What did we do? We put the curtains up. Oh, then we put the curtains up, put the shelves up. And we put that cool neon controller up too on the wall. Yeah, that was really cool. This is supposed to be like a gaming room. And right. it is a gaming room, but yeah. that needs to be sideways. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, guys. So if you want to do a makeover video with your room, call my dad. He's that smart. So just go on Instagram, Facebook, or whatever, and you can call him. Peace!